And now, The Valley That Was with Chris Roberry. Mercury was a valuable ore back in the 1860s, and the Santa Clara Valley boasts the most productive mercury mine ever in the U.S., the New Almaden Quicksilver Mine. First discovered by the Ohlone Indians, cinnabar, which is a bright red mercury ore, was used for painting purposes. Settlers wouldn't discover the ore until 1820, and the mines began operation around the 1860s, just in time for the second half of the gold rush. That processed ore was used to separate gold from gravel and other debris during hydraulic mining. And of course, mercury is also used in thermometers. However, there is a dark legacy to all of this mining. The runoff from the mines choked the Guadalupe River and southern San Francisco Bay with mercury, poisoning birds and aquatic species for decades. And the pollution from the mine goes far beyond that. To this day, the toxic mercury mined from New Almaden and used during hydraulic mining is still leaching from the Sierra foothills nearly 160 years after first being introduced there by man. After being declared a National Historic Landmark in 1961, the County of Santa Clara bought the land around the mines in 1976 and converted it into the open space park that we know today. There are structures in the park that span the 135 years of mining in the area. They include the ruins of the Senador Mine, as well as two California historical markers. There's even a museum highlighting the area's history. But don't plan on visiting the park with your pickaxe and hard hat. The entrances to the mines have been permanently sealed off. That being said, the U.S. Geological Survey still believes there's a very high probability that high-grade mercury ore still exists in the area and it could be extracted using more modern and environmentally safer techniques. While the mines may have kick-started the valley's industry over a century ago, they are also a stark reminder. The actions and supposed technological advances of the past have a direct effect on the environment of our future. For The Valley That Was, I'm Chris Roberry, 1590 KLIV.